You know it's Strike Force, baby. I had to hit up my plug. You can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. What's up, peoples? We're going to be doing a custom today, an NMD custom, all at once. For anybody who saw our on foot R1 review gone wrong, we did a couple months ago with the smoke bomb, the green smoke bomb. Like, it was really, <laughs> it was, it wasn't no fake and it didn't really mess up the shoes, but Dame has been wearing these. You know Dame, my partner for the channel. He's been wearing these for the last few months. He liked it the way the smoke bomb did to the sneakers, so he's been wearing it like a custom, but it's getting a little worn out. They're a little dirty. I don't, I don't know how good you could see those right now, but we're going to custom these out. We're going to black them out. We're going to black out this midsole. We're gonna black out this white back patch and we're gonna try to turn this square red, which I haven't seen it done on YouTube yet. I have an idea of my how I think we could do it, but, but we're gonna try to make it red, so like the OG blue and red, except it'll be blacked out and then blacked out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take out these laces. We're gonna go ahead and wash it down with some Angelus cleaner and a brush. We're gonna pop out these laces and get them washed up and then we'll go from there. Up. I let them dry for about an hour in front of a heater. The green did not come off. The midsole from the smoke grenade, the smoke bomb, really stained it up nice and good right there. Soaked right into that. Still on both sides. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some acetone. Boom. I ran out of my Angelus deglazer. I filled it back up with acetone. I don't know if they're the same thing, but I thought I would specify this as acetone. Dame seems to think that this is going to eat up the midsole like styrofoam. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Okay, we got those all deglazed. Nice and deglazed up. It did not eat the midsole. We're very happy. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab some sandpaper. Bump. This is recommended by Angelus themselves they say for the back of this this actual back tab you're supposed to hit it with some sandpaper to help the paint stick better all right so we got these sanded up one thing I wanted to mention with the acetone when we were doing this I didn't go over the blue because we're gonna be keeping this blue and I didn't want to risk taking off that Adidas so I didn't hit that with the acetone I did hit the black because we're gonna try to turn these red I don't know if that's possible. I haven't seen it done yet. It might be too dark. We're gonna try it out though. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna black out these midsoles. We're gonna black out this back. Get that started. We're gonna need our Angelus Jet Black Leather Dye. Boom, boom. It comes in the box with a can hold it like that so you don't spill it. I'm just gonna take my medium brush. I'm gonna give the midsole a first layer of the Jet Black dye this is not paint this is dye it is very watery so you only need a little bit it will run so you want to go very slow and make sure not too much on your brush Okay, we got our first layer of black stain on the midsole. Be surprised, this boost just really soaks it up. It's very watery to begin with and it just really soaks it up. We made sure not to get any on here on the blue. We also made sure not to get any on the blue down here on the bottom. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to dye these up with a base coat of black and poly paint over those. The way these are looking, I'm going to see how they look after a second coat of dye. I think maybe after a second coat, I might just uh, put some finisher on them and not do the paint because of what I'm hearing about the paint is it chips and scuffs off and the reason people put the dye is to, when it does chip off, it'll be black underneath. But if I'm liking the finish after a second coat, I might just seal it in like this and put the paint on the back. But we're gonna go ahead and start painting the backs and put a second coat on this midsole. Blah. 
was blinded and I don't see once again. Okay, we got these all dyed up, the tabs in the back. I went ahead and put two more layers of the black dye on the midsole, so now there's three layers of black dye. We're not gonna paint the midsole. The reason we're not, the only reason they do paint it is to uh, make it a flat black and maybe make it a little duller, but it's not that glossy to me. These are gonna be made to be worn. These are for Dame, and Dame wears his NMDs a lot, like every day, so we're gonna make these more durable. We're not gonna put the paint on there. I like the finish of this. We are gonna go ahead and paint these. This is only dyed up as of right now, but right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to turn this square red from black on, bo on both of them, so on both sides, on both shoes. So what we're gonna start off to do, I wanna lighten up the black to make it lighter so that the red could take when I try to put the red on it. So right here I got a little bit of the regular Angelus white paint mixed with a little duller. And we're gonna start off just hitting the squares with a little bit of white. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I basically wanted to show you what we're getting here. This is with two coats of white over the black square on each side. You can still see the black coming through just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and give it a third coat of white before we go and put the red over this so that none of that black or darkness bleeds through to the bright red color. So just one more coat. This will make it three coats of white on these squares. Just going very slow, making sure not to hit the black before we get to the red. All right, we got three coats of white on there, looking like a good base so we can start our red. Now I'm gonna mix the red paint. I don't know exactly the mixture. I'm gonna try it out with this, see if it works. It's gonna be red with just a dab of white, just a very little bit of white just to brighten it up. Very, very little bit, just a drop in there. Get that mixed up. Nice and good. And then we're also gonna add just a drop of dollar. Mm, dollar. Then we drop a dollar. Just like that. Mix that up nice and good. Now I'm put a test drop on here and see if I like the color if it's matching towards a real NMD or not. It seems to be like it'll match after, and you can see the white poking through a little bit still, but I think after I get a couple good solid coats, we'll be all right. So this is basically where we're at. I did about three or four layers of red on top of the three layers of white. So in my opinion, yes, you can paint a black, one of these black tabs a different color. It takes a lot more layers and a lot more time. And of course, if you started with a white box or an all white pair, you wouldn't have to do the under layers of the white. You can just go right to the red. But in my opinion, it was worth it to have the, the OG red and the blue on the NMDs. Now our next step we're gonna do is we're gonna paint up these back tabs with a flat black. We're gonna mix the flat black mixed with duller. We already have it mixed up. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and start that back tab. We got two coats of the flat black with duller on the back tab here. I think it makes it look a lot more of a matte finish um, than, than this, just the regular dye and also to two coats so help it hold up a little better. We're gonna do one more step before we put our finisher on everything. And that's the um, where it says Adidas, the Adidas logo and where it actually says Adidas on the back. We're gonna turn that white. We're gonna give it a try, maybe give it two coats and see how it goes. It looks like it's showing up pretty bright to start with. symbol painted up. I went over this about four times to make sure I got enough coverage. Make sure you could uh, you could really see it over the black. So that's our last step. That's our last detail. Now we're just going to go over the whole shoe. What I got here is the matte finisher. The Angelus matte finisher. I mix it in a jar here. I mixed it with some more duller because even though it's a matte finisher it's not supposed to give it a gloss but it usually does give it a gloss. So I went ahead and mixed that with some more duller. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the whole med sole we painted. I'm gonna hit the red squares we painted. Uh, I don't wanna go over this because I definitely don't wanna make that shinier and it's already a factory finish. And then we're gonna go over this back tab with it. And then that's it, we're all done. Call me Gucci Gucci.